Hello and welcome to C-Sharp Logical Puzzles, Games and Algorithms. So we finished coding the race and it is time for us to test it and marvel at the epic battle between the turtles and the hare. So let's run the program. Alright, so here's our welcome message. So let's press a key. And here is our initial screen. So the turtle and the hare are on their starting position on line 0. And the turtle is ready and the hare is ready. So let's press a key. And you can see the turtle moved three spaces forward and the hare made a, a slip which would put him past the starting line so he stays at the starting line. The next move hare is sleeping and the turtle is still moving. And the next move and you can see the turtle won on this move and hare was really close. Uh, obviously he made the big jump which was nine spaces from starting position but it wasn't enough and the turtles won congratulations uh, so everything seems to be working as expected but let's add another runner to the mix and let's make this racetrack bigger we only have 10 spaces so that's not really much of a race so let's do that so i created a class called pavel so i'll be the other runner i'll make myself public and I also need to inherit from the runner. Now, I am not a good runner, and with my best being maybe around like one mile in nine minutes or so, but uh, I would say that makes me kind of a turtle in this race. So I'm simply going to copy paste everything from the turtle class, and I'll be the next turtle. So here's my copy paste. I'm gonna change the turtles to Pavel. I get the current position and the lane and my symbol will be capital P. Everything else stays the same. And I'm going to keep the same moves. But although I do run like a turtle, I still want my own signature move. So let me add one more move to the move types. So on the bottom, I'll simply go into add another constant. I'll call it Pavel jump. And let's say I'll jump five spaces forward. So that's my signature move. So when I go back to my class, I'm going to replace, let's say I want to move 50% of the times my signature move, which is called Pavel jump. So I'll replace it with that Pavel jump. And it will say Pavel moved, or I'll do Pavel made Pavel jump, like that. And I moved, I think, five spaces, right? And that's the only change I had to make for my own class. Now, since I'm adding another runner, I have to go to my track class, and the number of runners need to be increased to three. And I'm going to make the track length, let's say, 45. And one more thing we need to add in our racetrack, I need to create an object of me. So new Pavel, and the starting position will be 0, that's the same line, but my lane will be 2, and my name will be, of course, Pavel. And now we are ready to race. So here's my welcome screen. I press a key, and you can see that there are three runners now, all starting at line 0, Turtle, Hare, and Pavel. So everyone's ready. Let's press a key. And I slipped, so I got minus 6, but that also means that I cannot go past the line zero which is the starting line so I stay there and you can see the turtles made a fast plot so three spaces forward and the rabbit made a hop I press a key for the next round and I finally moved I moved one space so like I said I'm not the best runner but it's getting there and look at me still going strong so let's press the key and I'm almost as fast as a hare because the turtle slipped and the hare was sleeping the past run Oh no, I'm going six spaces back again. Not good. So let's keep pressing the key. Oh, <laughs> six spaces back again. I made the jump. I'm keep moving. Turtle is back at starting line. Oh, not good. And the hare is winning. Oh, oh, that was a big jump for the for the hare. But it's not over yet. Well, it is now. The winner is hare. And I, I'm actually last. I just told you I'm not a good runner. Even the turtle. Is faster than me but you could see now how the race works you could see how easily it is to extend the moves and add the class uh, of another runner 
how easy it is to make the track as long as you want. So this is what I wanted to show you with this exercise, not just the logic behind this race, but also how to make it work so that in the future, if you have another runner that you want to add, it would be a matter of a minute. So I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.